I have in my hands the Sony Ericsson MBW150 Music Edition Bluetooth Watch. It attaches to a Bluetooth device such as the new Sony Ericsson TM506 and it uses dedicated music controls to start and stop music, switch to previous and next track, or adjust volume levels. It also has a small display which has simple settings that you can turn Bluetooth on and off. It'll give you new message notifications, uh, allow you to pair up with a new phone. On top of that, it also shows uh, music track information as it's playing. Watch is pretty big, but not abnormally large. This particular model has a rubber wristband, as you can see. Fairly straightforward. Right here, you can see the contacts where it charges. Uh, there's a little clip on charge adapter that I'll show you a little bit later. It's black, silver, and orange Walkman color highlights on it. So here we have the watch with one of the new Sony Ericsson TM506 devices. What I'm going to do is I'm going to long press the center play button, which will start the music up. And you'll notice that the track comes across on the LED display on the watch. Brief presses adjust volume level. whereas a long press on the next and previous buttons will activate the track control. Each time a track switches, the watch vibrates a little bit. Quick press on the play stop button will stop it. The idea is a quick press does nothing that's going to cause music to start. You know, I can keep pressing this over and over and over again and nothing's going to happen. You really have to lay down on it to get the music to start, which is a good safeguard. You can see the menu, simple for turning the Bluetooth system on and off on the watch, turning on the message notification, for disabling the Bluetooth notice when the phone's out of range and for pairing up with a new phone. And that's one of the interesting features on this. If you walk away with the watch on and the phone's not in your pocket, when you get out of range, the, the watch will vibrate and tell you that you know, you've forgotten your phone so you can go back and grab it. Pretty handy. I'm going to show you what happens when a text message comes into the phone when the watch is attached. You can see the message indicator pop up, uh, and the watch also vibrates. The sound you heard was actually from the phone, which is sitting on the desk. The watch itself doesn't have any kind of speaker. Of course, the MBW150 also functions as a normal watch. You can see the analog hands on it, and when I press the top button up here, it shows time, date, and battery status information, as well as the current track that's playing, or queued up to play at least. And as promised, here's the charging adapter. You can see it's a spring-loaded clip. Locks onto the phone, hooks up with the contacts right underneath there, and then plugs into a normal Sony Ericsson fast port charger adapter. Doesn't seem to take too long to charge the watch. Uh, it's supposed to go a few days between charges, depending on how you're using Bluetooth and everything, but Seems fairly acceptable, pretty easy to charge too. So there you have it, a very quick look at Sony Ericsson's MBW150 Music Edition. Nice little Bluetooth enabled watch. It's available now.